Please welcome Pamela Adlin. <laughs> This Welcome is so to the show. Cool. This is cool, right? I'm on the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. This is crazy. Are you kidding me? I watched you on Californication, one of my favorite shows of all time. I'm sitting opposite you right now. It is great to have you here. Congratulations Thank you. on is it is it bittersweet the final season of the show? It uh it <sighs> I feel happy. I feel grateful. I, I'm, you know, obviously doing press for the finale, and um, you know, it, it, it's it's a big accomplishment. I'm a woman. I'm in my 50s. I'm a single mom. I have three daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the writer, director, star, creator of the show. So it's kind of a weird. Wow. And so, um, you know, I I'm. I'm doing the, the press and people keep asking me, are you sad? Is it bittersweet? Mm -hmm. And I just feel extremely excited and grateful that I'm, you know, at this place in my life that I have uh, these, these jobs and that I can provide for my family right. and keep going and keep working, hopefully. And I like to tell people that, you know, don't be so myopic in your life, you know? Just think about other things that you want to do, you know? It's a... Uh, it's extremely important to uh, love what you do, yeah. but sometimes it's not possible. Uh, and you gotta kind of cool your heels and wait to do the thing that you love to make money from oh. doing the thing you love. My mom would say it, she would say, when God closes one door, he opens another. Oh yeah. That's essentially what she would say. But I yeah. like your one, because it's more like it's on me. I was like, when is God opening the door? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's, it's you, you know, I used to, I was just an actor. And I would wait for the phone to ring, and, and I thought that that's how it, it was supposed to be. That's fascinating. And now you create the work that you want to be in. Yes. And it's not, it's not just creating the work, it's creating fantastic work, because your Thank show, you. you're playing, you know, on the page, it would be like, oh, what a story, a single mom with her three children. Oh, yes. And, so, and you watch it, I mean, we saw just even in the clip, you're dealing with everything, kids and drugs and yeah. love and life and virginity and cooking and working hard. Yeah. And it's, it's just everything. It's funny, it's sad, there's moments of heart. And I found myself going, is this, is this you taking from your life? Or do you like expand on what your life wasn't in a, in a weird way? Like, do you go, this is the exaggerated version of my life? Well, I like to, I like to say that my character Sam is me in a cape. So it's like the ultra version of me. Right. So she's like, I always, it, you know, it's that conversation you have with yourself when you're in the car or on the bus or you're, you're driving home and you're like, oh, I wish I had said that, you know, <laughs> or, you know, or that would have been so bad if this happened and you, your mind goes through it and, um, or I wish I had done this with my kids, mm. you know, but when you're a parent, it's exhausting anyway. And even if you have a partner, and so I don't have a partner, and I raised three girls by myself, and so um, I was always looking for ways to be a better parent. And I feel like now that I'm older and my kids are more grown, that I'm, I'm a better parent now, and I wish I could go back and apply the things that I've learned or I've written into my show. Do, to... do they ever watch the show, or do you, do you ever show them like an episode and you'd be like, see, that's, that's what I wanted to do? Um, <laughs> oh, that, like, that's credit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. Like, see, that's, that's, uh, Look, see? I would have done that. <laughs> and I want you to know that, uh, I don't think that holds. Like, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's an homage. And it's, it's really, uh, it's been a journey because I started it seven years ago and all right. my kids were still right. living at home and now two, two are gone. And um, it's just, it's graduations. It's the way your life goes. And, you know, there's no such thing as an anti-hero. Like when I hear that term, hmm. that kind of drives me crazy because an anti-hero is a human being. Oh, I like that. You know, and so when you say Sam's an anti-hero because like early on it was like, 
you know, she would try things, she would do like sex things or whatever, and now not sex things or, you know. Um, this is a great way to describe it. Everyone who hasn't watched is now like, <laughs> now you're gonna watch because you're like, wait, 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 what, the sex things and the not sex Let things? Let me explain. Don't, don't explain, don't explain. That's how people watch a show. <laughs> Don't, not, yeah, serves you right. You didn't watch, now you don't know the sex things, and you don't know the not sex things. She's in the corner like, yeah. That's what you want. I I'm love that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> it's all, um... I, I, I wanted to ask you this about the show. It's like, you know, there's so much heart in the show that I, I, it feels like it transcends what's happening on camera. And I've heard some stories about set. I've heard some stories about how you make the show. One of the, one of the, the stories I heard that intrigued me had to do with food on set. So, you know, when I, when I, when I was reading up on your life story, I, I, I didn't realize that you had been acting since you were a child. And when you were young, you would eat all the food that was in a scene, which, like, a lot of actors don't do. You would actually eat it, which, because you, you didn't want to waste it. Yes, well, I did, well, there's another reason, which is that I, you know, I grew up watching television. My father was a writer, producer, uh -huh. and I, I'm like a soundstage baby. And um, I love television, I, and I want it to be authentic, and I desperately oh. want the characters to be real. So when I would see people like pushing like the peas around on a plate, or your phone, uh, the, on the, <laughs> I hear, it's like an emergency <laughs> alert. Should we wait? Are, are you, no. Um, it could be your ring, I don't know. Um, uh, like, if they push their food around on a plate, yeah. it drives me crazy. Like, put the food my, in your so mouth my, and eat the food. The food is so intricate. Like, you, you have scenes where your character's like we cooking. We cook it, I'm cooking but the food. But that looks like real food. Yes, I'm cooking the food. I'm cooking the food, so you're seeing. So do you guys eat the food? Yeah, so uh, a lot of times we get to, um, one scene, one of my kids on the show, she, um, uh, actually, her character loses her virginity right. in in the show, and um, it, it's it's a very like uh, um, it's a conscious choice. And there's there's like these tough conversations that happen in the show. And how does this lady, this mom of these three kids, deal with this mm -hmm. on on their own? And they get through it, and they talk about it, and then they go downstairs. And her daughter, who just told her this, makes her peppermint ice cream from scratch. She just want, you know, Sam says, I really want cri peppermint Christmas ice cream. And that's where they don't have the ingredients and they start making it And we it just right. did it and she breaks up the peppermint and we take out the ice cream and then put some agave in it, some cocoa, like, you know, made it up on the spot. And then the whole crew lined up. They, they wanted some of the ice cream, <laughs> but... Um, I, yeah. love, I love the idea of this. I'm just gonna do my groceries at the Daily Show. Yes. I'm just gonna start like making jokes. Ah, uh -huh, that reminds me of Himalayan sea salt. <laughs> exactly. Maldon <laughs> sea salt flakes. Um, uh, I, I, living, a wor living in a world that's not myopic, it means, I mean, you know, you act, you write, you direct, you do everything. What's next, final season? So what would you like to do? What's like a pipe dream, a crazy idea, or just something you think you'll do? Well, I'd like to continue working. I, I love to work. Um, I like to um, mentor. I like to, I, I having uh, job fairs for people because, uh, so there's this whole thing, you know, people are like, oh, I wanna be in the business. I wanna be uh, a host or an actor or a mm -hmm. director or a writer. There's so many other jobs and uh, I'd like people to know what they are. Like, why is Post uh, just, uh, you know, the same kind of people, which right, is like right. all, all old white guys or young white guys, like. <laughs> well, it's, it's oftentimes referrals, right? Yeah, yeah. they refer to each other. They yes, have a whole yes. uh, um, network, but I like to show people, young people, uh, what jobs there are available. And, you know, instead of like, you know, young kids wanting to play football, like young boys, like that's what mm -hmm, they want to mm -hmm. do. And myopic in that way, what if you can't play sports? There's so many jobs that you can oh, like do that. in my industry that are so cool uh, to, to learn about being a gaffer, a key grip, a rigger, a stunt person. And I like to uh, uh, educate people about that kind of thing. Well, I think you can do anything you want to do. Congratulations on an amazing show. Thank, Thank you for being so here. Much. Really wonderful having you. People, the series finale.
of better things is Monday, April 25th at 10 p.m. on FX and streaming on Hulu.